I'm going to be uh, demonstrating um, a psychoanalytic session. This will actually serve for both the um, Freud and Jung um, areas that we study in this class. In this scenario, we have uh, Heather as a client who is experiencing problems of living. We're going to use free association to try to understand the um, unconscious elements of her story. Um, Heather, if you could, if you would just lie down with your head on this end, this is we're going to talk about your circumstance and just kind of let your ideas flow. You know, don't try to censor anything or try to just it, let it start talking about your situation and we'll see what happens. Just, just talk away. What if I can't think of anything well, to say? Well, when you're done thinking of something to say, we'll stop. Like about what I'm here for? Yeah, that would be fun. Um, if other things come to your mind, let those come. Well, I mean, I'm. I just sort of. My life is kind of. Just feels like it's it's going nowhere. I. I don't know. I wake up in the morning and I. I kind of lie in bed and I think. What should I do today? My kids are grown, they're off in school, um, no college, and my husband's getting up and he's going to work, and uh, I've got another, another day to face, and you know, he'll be home six, seven o'clock after work, and we'll, we'll have dinner, and I don't know, read the newspaper, watch TV, take a walk, something like that, and and then I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up the next day and it'll just be the same thing again and, and again. And, and it has just been the same thing all year. And uh, I, I don't know. I mean, where's it all going? What, what's the use? What's the sense of it? Uh, why bother get up? What difference? You just won't make it going like this? I mean, so, you know, like when the kids were home and the kids were little, I was busy all the time and I was really involved with their lives and, you know, I'd get them up and get them off to school and there was activities to do and they'd come home and we, we, we were one of those houses I'd always wanted to have my house be where the kids came after school and, you know, they could, they'd be comfortable when they were little, they'd come and they'd play and we had games and we had a cool backyard all set up and as they got older, then, you know, we had a pool table downstairs and we had a, a ping pong table down there and we had a good stereo system and, you know, the kids would bring all their friends home. We were sort of like the neighborhood hangout spot and I got four kids and so, you know, gosh, we would just be rolling with activity and then the first one went off to school and then the second one got a job and then the third one went off to school and now the fourth one's off to school and it's just me and it's this big old house and you can't play ping pong by yourself you hit the ball and it falls off and the pool is kind of dull to do by yourself and just look at these big long days in this big empty house and I don't know so I just started feeling bad this year. I've never been depressed before, but suddenly it, it just there's no need to get up. Why bother? Who who knows I'm alive? Who know if I if I just fell off the face of the earth? And so it's just bleak. And look at the ceiling, it looks like it's like little worms just crawling around in the dirt. That's totally off the topic, isn't it? 
well, like, what do you want me to say now? That's it kind of said what. Well, I'll tell you, Heather, if, if you want to go ahead and sit up now, do you have more? Is there more you'd like to say? I don't know what else I'd say. I mean, you know, I, I guess I could just babble forever and ever and ever and get myself probably just feeling as miserable as could be. Uh, to get the ceiling and make little worm patterns on it. Um, yeah, so I can sit up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do now at this point is, is we're going to spend some time um, talking about the experience while you were free associating and what elements, what pieces might have come up from you know, the, the unconscious or part of you or pre-conscious. And then we'll see if we can make some interpretations about the meaning of that information.